have an enthroned identity. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 through 7, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. So we are talking about the fact that God uh, in, in his grace, in the riches of his grace and kindness towards us, has made us to sit with Christ in the heavenly realms. And we are trying to explore the implications of what God has done for us in Christ. One of the truths that we'd like to bear out here is that because we are seated in Christ, with Christ in the heavenly realms, we therefore have an enthroned identity. That means the entire spiritual realm recognizes you as somebody who is seated with Christ in heavenly realms. Think about that. That means all the angels, Satan himself, and all his demonic powers know who you are. That you are somebody who is seated with Christ in heavenly realms. That's your spiritual identity. Now, of course, in the natural, we have a natural identity. People know us by a certain name and from a certain country and a certain uh, ethnic uh, ethnicity and so on. That's our natural identity. But our spiritual identity, the whole spiritual world looks at you as somebody seated on that throne. That's your spiritual identity. It's not an imaginary thing. It's a Bible thing. It's what God has said for us in his word. Now, you know, let's use a natural example, an example from our world. So if there is an heir to a throne, a, a prince, you know, people around recognize this person as a prince or as somebody who is the heir to the throne. They give him that respect and he walks with that identity uh, on earth. How much, how much more should you and I walk in our spiritual identity as people who have been enthroned with Christ in heavenly realms? That means you carry something in you that is kingly. The Bible says that you are an heir of God and you are a joint heir with Jesus. These are not nice, just fanciful terms the Bible is using. This is spiritual reality. In the spiritual realm, that's who you are. And so you, be, you walk in that identity right here on earth. So on this earth, when you're dealing with spiritual things and you're dealing with things around you, you draw out of that identity into that circumstance, into that situation. You come into that place knowing that you're somebody who's seated with Christ in heavenly realms. And therefore, there is authority behind you. There is the throne of God behind you. God himself is behind you. That's your identity. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us understand our enthroned identity, that we are heirs of God, we are joint heirs with Jesus, that we are seated in that throne, and therefore there is kingdom authority vested in us, and that makes up our identity. Help us to walk in this world out of that identity you've given to us in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.